we are a Touchline Ram podcast. We are at the There's over 500 players here. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Ninety-six homeless episodes. World Cup edition. The homeless World Cup edition, indeed. Thank you very much for tuning in. We are a Touchline rant. My name is Luke, and his is Alex. Mine is Alex. His is Alex, like I just said. Um, this week we're going to be talking uh, transfers. We're going to be talking homeless World Cup. Homeless the World Cup. The significance of the homeless World Cup. The significance why it's massive. We're also then huge. in turn going to go Cardiff. Car- Cardiff City. We're that links talk. in with Cardiff City. It does, yeah. And then we're going to have a section which we're just going to label any other business because we couldn't work out what sections they would go in. So we're just going to chuck Bit you a, mix up. a veritable smorgasbord of footballing issues, stories, agendas, and such. That's how. That's the way I describe any other business. Welcome to our land of dragons. A bit of Arsenal, a bit of Cardiff City. That's any more, other business. A bit of Championship. He's, expo- of, he's opened any other business here. You're not meant to Podcast tell him. Boots, might mention Boots. Boot, like what, the shop? Don't tell him. There's a peek behind the wizard's cloth you've got there. Music. Play the music. Yeah. The Homeless World Cup is an amazing tournament. It's an amazing, amazing tournament. And it's being held in our home city of Cardiff, Wales. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about it. We're going to be covering the tournament throughout. Um, we're really looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be a great event. There's a lot of good for a lot of people, and it should be celebrated and it should be supported. And I really because hope it the is. message of finding a solution to global homelessness it raises awareness. Awareness is key. With Michael Sheen, he has opened a lot of doors. So I'd say it wouldn't be as 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 big without. No, it definitely Sheen. it wouldn't because be they've really put that together. They've organised it well, considering that we've known for over a year that it was going to be coming to Cardiff. So they announced it at the Wales game. I think they're playing Spain in the Millennium, and they announced it that night that the Homeless World Cup was coming to Cardiff. And Michael Sheen had been champion in it prior to that, having it in Butte Park as well. Yep. is great. You know, Butte Park is a great area in the heart of Cardiff. In the heart of Cardiff, it's in the shadow of the Millennium. You know, it makes you weep. Not the principality now. Yeah, is it? Please do check it out. It's it's a great event. Yeah. And yeah, let us know if you are there. We'll come in there. Yeah. Hope buy, you, buy you an ice cream. No. Welcome to our land of dragons. Instead of talking speculation this week, we talk what deals have gone through. Because we haven't actually really addressed it much. So let's talk some deals. Fekia went to Bears. <laughs> Fekia. Broken Fekia. Yeah. I mean, he went to Bears, but considering that man was last season photographed in Liverpool shirt after what, what, ready to announce the sign in. What happened? 
just fell through. Yeah, yeah Joe Linton. Joe Linton. Joe Linton. Never heard of him. How much? <laughs> um, forty million. How do you think they sold it? You give him a Sports Direct mug. Big one. That's a start. A big mug. You give him free a free a card like a like a, a like a Mastercard black where and a big you can buy anything you want in Sports Direct. Carry back. Yeah, that's what you got to do. If Jesse Gamagay's gone to PSG. I think that's a good transfer for everyone. Do you think? Except Everton. Even Everton will be gutted. Everything up. Everton will be gutted. It's like, it's like you've just ripped an engine out I of think a, he's only had the, a core I, team. Of. No, I think he had a very small amount left on his contract. I'm hoping to be wrong, but I think it's like one or two years. Leicester will be this season's version of Wolves, in my opinion. Brendan Rodgers is an extremely high level and good coach. They've got a very good coach with young, exciting players. Leicester. Cardiff City, Happy. look, they need to strengthen at the back and they need to strengthen in centre mid. Um, but I would suggest, I was saying this before, a bit of positivity, Cardiff City fans. I think that the Murphy, Patterson, and Bobby Reed drop in Patterson little combo in there. drop in Patterson. Yeah, I think those three could be a very, very exciting prospect in the championship. I think Murphy, Patterson, and Bobby Reed are an extremely good attacking outfit. And they've got a strong enough side, a championship side coming off a pretty decent, I'd, have, say, but I'd say it's a pretty decent crack at the Premier League. Oh, everything just went against them. It would look. But look, I, I don't think they should have any difficulty being top top five. No, I think that, I think, look, if you're Cardiff City going into next season, that championship is a shark then. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot. <laughs> think of it. Okay. Not think of the teams that are still in it. Den. Shark den. Not shark den. There are a den of sharks. Den of sharks. Can we leave it on uh, Patterson? Cal shout out. Callum shout out. Shout out. Callum Patterson. We expect big things for you. I'm, I don't know. I'm not big speaking things. to him there yeah. unless he's listening to this, and that would be yeah. Callum. Big bump. Any other business? Any other business? Anything else you've got on your mind? Just to, we'll have a quick run through. I'm just okay. throwing a statement right out of there right now. Go on then. Welcome to our land of dragons. What? Arsenal. Yeah. They'll be fine. What's your They'll definition fine. of fine? They'll be fine. I think the top six, like performing, oh, oh, they will. Oh, oh. They'll be. They'll be. Oh, they'll be there. Okay. They'll. They'll be fine though. Everyone's stressing. Go. Oh, you, Don't yeah. say fine. It's ambiguous. I want specifics. Well, for Europa or Champions League? Champ Just... Obviously Champions League. Champions League, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Do you know why? Uber why? and Lacquer. Warm your, warm, yeah. your, warm your cockles. Can I throw some out there? There's a I lot just... of positives which people are overlooking. There might be. Do you know the problem is? The negative is bigger. It's the same at Man United. The negative is bigger. Because <laughs> you needed the centre-back. Everyone, your defence was awful. Awful. You needed the centre back, and what's happened? <laughs> Your centre back captain's gone on strike. It's like if I was Unai Emery, I'd be like, "Oh my god, that's the, literally the last thing I needed." I think oh, the main thing I think is that actually Arsenal and Man City, uh, Man United, sorry, will be competing with each other this season, but it will be over who gets to finish sixth, <laughs> as opposed to who gets to finish fourth. Boots. Yeah. What uh, football boots we drawn to? Uh, do you know, weirdly, I was, any, I was drawn to anything with orange or green on them. If it had bright orange or bright green, that's the thing I remember most about football boots. What, lottos or what? Just, I just, I can't, a lot of them, you know, I've never been one of these sort of, I've got these boots kind of fellas. Yeah. But I remember every time I had to pick a new pair of boots, I just remember either there being bright yellow on them or bright green on them. So, like, I was properly reeled in. When I was a, when I was a kid, like first off the Andre Konchalskis blue Fishing. boots, reeled right in. Like Konchalskis, he's he's one of my favourite United players. Yeah. In full flow, he was he was he was fantastic. He had blue boots, blue Asics. Mm. So I I got I I bought them. I got them. Then it was the shoddy workmanship, which was those Reebok boots, which which Ryan Giggs flogged me. Ryan Giggs flogged sold, a lot sold, of those Reebok boots. Sold me the dream there. They were they were trash. They were the worst boots I've ever had. Then. Well, he's done worse. It, hey. Uh, then, it was, then, it, then it was uh, the Predators from, from Beckham. <laughs> Predators With indeed. the tongue. Just them. You're talking about David Beckham and Ryan Giggs and using the word Predators. Yeah. 
Fair enough. Yeah, there look, Beckham has pro- The point is, I was proper sold, I was reeled in. Real reeled in by, the, by, people do, by the advertising. I wanted those boots because I idolised those. those oh, look, players. we talked about it's it. The power, like an idiot. It's, it's the power <laughs> of the badge. It's the power that the players have actually got it's over you. It's the power you. of the brand. It's of power. football. It's power. The brand power. of football. There the we brand are. of football. The brand it's the power of, football. of the brand of football. Football has become that level of a brand. Not a club, but the sport. Because it's business. NFL. Look at NFL. That business, has got, business that's and a brand. Power. Business and power. Feedback. I thought you were going to do that all the way through this. No, 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 no. That's just kick. to signify. Holy hell. Feedback. This feedback. Is, uh, feedback corner. We've already got his intro music. You don't need to be blowing into a pen. Oh, Who's been in touch on uh, Twitter at a touchline rant and on Instagram at a touchline We've got messages from uh, Mart Poo. Yes. He says, Pumarific. Pumarific? Yeah. Dimitri Karin says, back of the net. Nigel Spink said, Spinktastic. Spinktastic. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Wilfred Ndidi says, yes, Ndidi. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Yeah. He was, he was, oh. he was, he was, he was in. He was in. What do you want? He snuck in. He slid in. I haven't in. seen him since Morocco. He slid in and he yeah. just said, DJ Khaled. Dimitar Berbatov. Oh, Dimmy, Dimmy, yeah. Dimmy. He just left a winky emoji. Oh, he could. He went sneaky, sly fox. That's uh, feedback. That's feedback. Nice. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Uh, what do you expect for, to happen this week? This week, Maguire will sign for United. Tottenham will sign another player. And Arsenal? Oh, we'll probably sell and United. Aubameyang to China. <laughs> um... No, there's a lot going to happen this week. Main thing that's going to happen this week, the most homeless important World thing Cup. is the Homeless World Cup. Please homeless head World down Cup. to Butte Park, Cardiff. Check in with us. We'll be down there. We'll be there. So let us know if you go in. We are there. DM. Um, DMs. DM us. Slide into them. Slide right up in there. Get around. Leave us your details. Homeless World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Homeless World Cup. Homeless World Cup. Cardiff. Cardiff, what get days? involved. 27th. Oh, yeah. Runs, yeah, it runs for all week. So all week. 27th, it starts, and then mm. it, follow, it ends the following Sunday. There you go. So it's only two weekends, five days, get involved. It's massive. Come down, meet, meet Michael Sheen. Okay. We have been Attached Line Rant. You can mm. follow us on Twitter, at Attached Line Rant. Mm-hmm. You can follow us on Instagram, at Attached Line Rant. Get involved, get following us, because... We need more followers. Thank well, you. It'd be nice, you know. Yeah, it'd it would nice. be nice. Right. Uh, thank you for Pod Bible. Pod Bible. That's what I was yeah. going to say. Thank you to Pod Bible for featuring us in their third edition. Super. You go and check that out yes. now. Oh yeah, we have got something that we haven't talked about on the podcast. No, we haven't. We have. We have. We haven't talked about it on the podcast. Um, but we've announced it on social media. Next week. This. Oh, no, not next week. Calm down. Um, two things. The, next week. Oh, go on. Then we'll do next week. Yep. Next week, we are very, very fortunate to be Cardiff uh, Cardiff Life Museum yep the old Cardiff Story we'll Museum we'll be going we're going to we'll go there we'll be deep diving into meet, Cardiff City deep diving we're going to we're going to be with Victoria from the museum who's going to be very kind to tell us about the uh, impact that football has had on our shared city yes um, so that's going to be interesting if you want and a, a really history good. lesson about history Cardiff City about Cardiff City next week so get involved in that Homeless World Cup we get down there felt huge. Land of Dragons!